Hey guys, I'm Mike Convolution. My name is Conrad. I'm going to be sitting down to check out episode 7 of season 1 of Marvel's What If. I've been loving the series so far. It's very strange to see like each episode go from like following these different characters. And I saw this interesting meme online where it says like, oh my god, except for one of the episodes, almost every single episode, Iron Man ends up dying. It's like his ultimate fate to do so, you know what I'm saying? So that's kind of crazy. If you guys haven't checked out any of my reactions to any of my previous Marvel What If episodes, links are down in the description below. As well as appears, so you guys can go and check those out. For joining back with me also feel free to check out my star wars visions uh, episodes one and two reaction which i just uploaded recently i'm loving star wars visions oh my god else world can un uncanonized uh star wars stories in anime form and I, as a major fan of anime i i think that's what makes me love all these new animated content that you know marvel as well as you know disney is putting out in terms of star wars so I love it. I uh, I just watched episodes three and four, so I'm gonna be uploading that reaction very soon as well. Hope you guys stay tuned for that. And uh, let's go ahead and dive into what I mean, if ideas. episode seven and see what it's about. Three, two, one, seven. But isn't there something you can do? Talking about the end of the world, my dude. It really sounds like Natalie Portman and Kat Dennings. Did they really get their voices in here? Oh shit! Army of the Dead. Citizens of Midgard. Damn. Entering like a freaking rock band. Wow, Thor looks very different without his beard. A brotherhood so strong and pivotal, it would change the fate of a universe. Instead of raising the Jotunheim prince Loki as his own son, Odin returned him to his people. Without his oh wow, world, life, he became the king of the, the Jotuns. To a very different prince. And uh... I'm off to my sisters to celebrate the solstice. Wow. Now, this is your first <laughs> wow. I expect you to study. Of course, mother. No parties. Of course, mother. Oh, Heimdall, there you are. Just uh, off to study. Books won't read themselves. <laughs> All, I'm not going to be like him. Right? The boring king. Uh, we are going to the most backward, backwater planet that not even Heimdall pays attention to. <laughs> Enjoy the night. Hollywood movies did not prepare me for this. Oh, yeah. Cue that L'Oreal commercial. I expected him to look more like... Like what, E.T.? He can make first contact with... I oh, yeah, I guy. bet she would love to make first contact. <laughs> talk coming from a broom, man. Mm. Topaz, what do I always say? I love kick. Mm. Oh, shit, the Grandmaster's here? Is it Thor, the Norse god of thunder? I don't know how to bring the thunder. Oh, dear God. You killed a planet. Oh, what is Damn, that seriously? Thing you've got there? What's magic? I love magic. Do all geniuses have such deep, dark eyes? Damn. Wow. Are you kidding me? Release the phone. Oh my god. Is Jeff Goldblum actually voicing this? Magic science. What's Rocket Raccoon doing there? You were the first to warn us about this extraterrestrial threat. This might be your party, but this isn't your planet. Oh, oh sh- Oh my god! I followed the anomaly's origin to Vegas. And then what did you do? Uh, yeah. Um... Slept with it! Thor of Asgard, who's now taken to the skies. He left? Did he- did he even leave a note? A the last resort has arrived. It's done. <laughs> wow. Is it happening? Oh, oh shit, it's her. The Goldies. Whoa! I can't believe you came! from another mother, man. Brother from another mother! Did you boom? No, I didn't boom. Did you boom? We boom in private. <laughs> Only boom in private. Oh, here comes the Marvel! France! Hey, White Snake. We need to chat. Clean up this mess and leave this planet. What? No, I like it here. Party's over, pal. Uh, how about you just buzz off? I wasn't asking, hotshot. Thor versus Captain Marvel? Yeah. Alright. There's a Midgardian word for women like you. Oh. Party pooper! Huh. <laughs> this one's for Fury. Damn. Ah, how about you? You just. Ah, oh, God. Get it? You're gonna put the hammer down. Oh, don't tell him he likes that. Stonehenge? I said no. Stop. Oh, but I <laughs> Wow. 
Wow, this is very cartoony. Oh shit, let's go! <laughs> Damn. Whoa, lightning coming, coming hard. Oh shit. It's like Thor Ragnarok music. I'm starting to Playing that love and thunder theme, you know what I'm saying? Damn. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that is cool. Timeout. My mother used to punch me with timeouts all the time. Fury said you were the best. That your punch was equal to ten nuclear bombs. I doubt it's that powerful. You've got a cat? Yeah, you could take out a whole army, Darcy, but ten yeah. nuclear. No. Wait, did you really destroy <laughs> No, no. It was more of a meteor anyway. No. I gotta go. Love you. Uh. I mean, bye. Hey, Earth girl. You haven't got a friend, have you? You know, we could double date. Oh damn. Will you just put him on the phone? Oh, don't get your knickers in a twist. Loki. Uh, uh. Loki and Darcy. Hmm? Oh dear God. What the hell is Surger doing there? Is he supposed to be plotting his destruction of Asgard? Marvel pissed again. Damn. Had a little Man of Steel moment right there. Hi. Uh, about Thor. And the helicarrier in the back. That's cool. That's that's a cool shot. We're in position. Arm the nukes. Uh, hello, Mrs. Odin wife. Fire in five. He's on Earth. We need mother intervention. Crown <laughs> Prince of Asgard, what are you doing? Mother. Mother. Jane sold me out. She said you were a Midgard. You mean Earth? Sorry, I misunderstood. Cultural exchange. Well, you know us, we're warriors for knowledge. Chris Hemsworth does it so well. My mother is coming. My suggestion? Start in the corners. Corners, corners, but it's a sphere. <laughs> uh, but me. it's a sphere! <laughs> I'm not joking. My mother is coming. Come on, Ice Bros, let's go. Wait, you can't leave. You need to clean it up. Clean? Oh, you sound like Odin. Oh. Yep. How about you? Um, I think I hear my dad calling. Oh, Father, give me strength. And she is not happy! Like, at all! Wow, just say Frigga's name and you're good. Oh my oh, god. Mother, good to see you. Welcome to our study group. Oh my god. Here's the information you requested wow. on human civilization. Wow. I loaded a few documentaries. So tiny yet contains <laughs> so much. You must be Frigga. I'm Captain Marvel. Thank you for helping educate my son. Almost forgot. <laughs> mother, I can explain. You called my mother on me. It was the right thing. So mm -hmm. Thank you. A world restored, love blossoming. As wow, this universe actually turned out okay, I guess. Wait, what? Huh? Oh, the oh shit, Ultron! Ultron! Yes, this is what I wanted. And he's got all the Infinity Stones, and he's got Vision's body. Bruh, next episode gonna be gonna be that, right? It's gonna be dope if it's that. Holy shit! Wow. What a cartoony, weird, Rick and Morty episode of Marvel's What If, man. Holy shit. If Thor never had Loki as a brother, he'd turn out to be like a huge frat dude. You know what I'm saying? Like a total frat boy. He's total party mentality, you know? And that's, I, the best thing about this episode, I would say, is the Captain Marvel versus Thor fights. The animation for it was so beautiful and so fluid and so crisp. And the, it's it's so good. But they did have a lot of like Looney Tooney moments where they had like, you know, them punching each other across various like, you know, little continents and whatnot, going from one to one to one. It's just uh, that, that, that's, that seemed a little bit too cartoony for me, given all the other crazy stuff we've seen thus far. But, um, I guess it sort of makes sense along the line that there's more than that they're these almost godlike figures, you know what I'm saying? So we'll have to see how uh, the show uh, goes forward with, you know, this Ultron theme, because uh, this is the stuff I've been waiting for. I really hope to get the actor back to voice, you know, Ultron, because Ultron, you know, despite Age of Ultron not being like the best critically reviewed uh, Avengers movie, I still loved it. I love the character of Ultron and the character of Vision, a parallel to Ultron and also against Ultron. It just 
I love that dynamic, you know? They're sort of the same being. They're, I mean, Vision is still Ultron. Ultron is, you know, somewhat a little bit Vision as well. And so they're just like, you know, two opposite sides of the spectrum and now they're gonna be melded together. It's like what Ultron's original Vision was to be, I mean, original Vision was to be Vision, you know what I'm saying? And he's got all the Infinity Stones. He's got all the Infinity Stones. So how are you gonna stop him? I mean, you got Captain Marvel, you got Thor, you got, you know, you got the, the Warriors 3 and all, you know, I guess, Loki can sort of come and help as well, but you know, he had, didn't really have a really good past history with, um, you know, the Infinity Stones in our current timeline. So how is he gonna fare here? And uh, it looked like even the, e e even even the Watcher was uh, surprised by Ultron showing up. So is Ultron like jumping space and reality, utilizing the stones, uh, jumping space and reality and jumping from place to place? Does that mean that we could potentially in in, in, in like real canon within the uh, within the MCU movies, the live action movies that we're seeing that could Ultron make a, a, a comeback or something like that and another appearance or something like that? You know what I'm saying? That's some cool shit. That's some cool shit, man. I would love to see Ultron again, man. I, I miss that. I mean, you just missed the villainy-ness of it. I don't think one movie was enough to do a character like Ultron Justice, con considering how much of his uh, character has been portrayed in these various forms and iterations in the comics, in the games, in the uh, animated series that, that, that are out there. I've just seen Ultron in so much quantity, and even in the Lego versions of the Marvel stuff, you know? Not that I watch that stuff, but like, you know, I, I see like YouTube clips here and there. It's just like, you know, he's, he's a cool character, and the, the actor that played him, I forget his name, but he's just a phenomenal actor, and the the, the the human the the human aspect of through his voice that he put in Ultron was absolutely awesome you know like if, if I compare Ultron to anybody in the DC universe like DC my favorite character and favorite villain in DC is Brainiac and so I feel like Brainiac and uh, Ultron are sort of very similar in their sort of uh, mechanic I guess in terms of what they're like creating multiple bodies to be able to like do other things using their intellect rather than their strength but using their intellect develop their strength etc etc I mean I love both those characters very much and I and I, I know more about Brainiac than um, uh, Ultron but I, I still love Ultron very much so i'm excited for that i don't know in terms of the other marvel um uh what ifs what how this episode ranks it's not really high up there because it just felt very lo looney tunes to me the whole episode is a very party episode there it didn't really feel like that incredible high stakes even though you know asgard is involved and you know even like even like searcher hanging around with a statue of liberty i'm like what you know it's kind of it's kind of like that uh, but i guess in in the form of alternate reality and alternate timeline stuff it, it that shit can happen i guess but it felt like the most out there of all the what ifs we've seen thus far my favorite still being the doctor strange one i think my doctor strange one is still by far uh my favorite what if so far but just because you know it, it just it, it just made more sense throughout the scheme of everything but yeah, what did you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day or a wonderful night wherever you guys are. I think there's only two episodes of Marvel's What If left. If you guys are if you guys are fans of Star Wars, check out my Star Wars uh, Visions episodes one and two reaction. Three and four is gonna come out soon. And I'll see you guys later in the episode eight of Marvel's What If. Until then, have a wonderful day or a wonderful night wherever you guys are. Peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe, hit that like button, and feel free to share the video. And I'll see you guys next time.